George and Ryan, uh, this is our 17th finalist from the 25 crafters chosen yes. to compete for the title of Home and Family DIY yes. Star. Yes. She's from San Diego, California. This is Annalie Garcia. Now, Welcome, Annalie. This is Annalie's Annalie. first time on television. Yes, it is. It and is. She's My 4,000 yep. <laughs> million <laughs> <laughs> time. <laughs> and I'm more nervous than you are. That's okay. Oh. That yes. she's, but she's Congratulations. not Congratulations. Thank Welcome. you. You make kid-friendly crafts. I, I find do. that interesting. I do. And yeah. I, I have so much fun with it. And you know what's so ironic? I have no children. That's what I'm I the only child. But you know, I get to use my imagination. It's why I really love it. And also, um, something about me, I'm just such a huge kid at heart, you know? And it, it just brings this part of me out. So is George. Yeah, I was yeah he, right. does, he does. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got a new, he's a new yes. kid at heart. Yes, he has he a new heart. Yes. <laughs> he's got a new heart and everything. <laughs> well, you why have a heart. Pick on me all the time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. You have a heart for your puppies, too. You have three puppies that are your babies. I do. They're my babies. They mean the world to me. You know, I've always grown having my three mm -hmm. little dogs. That's Daisy, the smaller one. The middle one is Lola. And the off to the right, um, the wider one is Candy. Oh. They're just my baby. And, you know, I've just been able to learn so much from my dogs. I've, like, you know, patience, just that love to be able to share. And, um, and you know, there's just a whole list about it. I just love it. Creamy or chunky peanut butter? On those spoons. Chunky. 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 Here's the video that you sent in that popped up and grabbed our attention. Take a look. Hi, everyone. My name is Annalie. When it comes to DIY, there are three things I always strive for. First of all, it has to be under budget. On average, my projects are about $10. Second of all, it needs to look as it would have been store bought. And third of all, the most important one, uniqueness. All of my projects, I have created them myself. Styrofoam board is the material I use the most, and from this, I've been able to create a castle, a carousel, and a lantern. I've also used tool fabric to create masquerade masks, PVC pipes to create candy cane lane, a snowman made out of balloons, a pail to create a jack lantern pail for the kids, and fiberboard to create cupcake stands. So, Christina, I have the hot glue gun ready for you, and Mari, I did not forget about you, glitter. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, thank you for watching, and I hope to be your next home and family DIY star. Oh, very Bye. nice, very nice. You can see why I'm calling it. Yeah. Yeah. You, have, you have to know that I have an outbreak anytime I get around glitter. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. Uh, clearly she watches everywhere. and she knows my fascination. Well, you glittered up these, yes. these little carousels that you made here, and you're going to show us how to do that. You got started on this earlier today. Let's take a look. You can walk us through so this. So I Emily. first began by outlining the template that's provided online, and from this I do the 16 triangles next to each other. 16 is really important. Right up next, so this is all the pieces that I've drawn out. Then using my X-Acto knife, I'm able to just cut out, cut out my templates, and I also cut other little pieces. Probably both with your X-Acto knife. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so this is all the pieces you're going to be having once it all cut out. These are. Then using my X-Acto knife, I slightly cut it, but not all the way through, so that way at the end I could just be able to add some glue on there, and I could just create the pyramid, and this is going to be the top of the carousel. Next. I just outline it, and from here I'm able to just cut it out again. And then I use a paper roll, to and I find the center. I outline it, I cut it, and then I just uh, add some hot glue gun, and I add it, and I glue it to what's gonna be the base of the top. And then from after that, I'm just gonna be starting to decorate it. So I use a hot glue gun so I could glue some suede red paper and also some glitter foam sheets. Then I just paint those little smaller pieces of foam board, which were I just then decorate afterwards. I use a two inch foam ball and I add a Mod Podge and there I add go, the Mark. glitter. I know. <laughs> and then I just glue all the glitter uh. foam sheets. <laughs> and on the top, I actually use a hot glue gun so I could add some beads, which I cover in a Mod Podge and so it could look all together. I add some more glitter. So the top, I just add some the foam board the foam ball and on the side I add those smaller pieces. How pretty. Then I used detail. a drill so I could create those holes on the horse with, and add the bamboo skewer so I can mount podge it and add more oh, glitter. Oh, do that to a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So you're going to show us how to finish it? We have all our little horsies over here, I yes. see. Yes. So, Mark, I know you love glitter. Yes. Yeah, hold it. So I'm going to have it. you help me out with one it. horse. Okay. And Christy, I'm just going to have you help me with the other. My so all we're going to do is puncture. Oh, no. Puncture okay. on puncture. the foam board. Okay. There you go. You are right. And okay. it goes. And now just a finished touch. And we're going to be adding some hot glue. 
Well, this reminds me of the. Uh, you guys have been to the Santa Monica Pier, the Marigold Ride. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You hang George there went on many dates there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. George, you want to put this on for us? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We're, we're, they have a they have a wonderful, wonderful uh, awesome. carousel down there. And then at the all pier. we're just gonna be oh, adding put... it on the center. So that way, all we could do is just flip yeah. it over, and, and we just put... let it dry for a couple of seconds, and it should be all good. It's fantastic. Okay, let it dry. And you made some other ones. Look at the other ones down in front of Ryan. I did. Bar and I created two other ones. I created what's the safari carousel theme one, mm -hmm. and I also created what's a unicorn, a whimsical unicorn. So that way you could have see. There's so many themes you could create for all the kids for all you their know, birthday parties. You know That's what, George? Does, doesn't that pink one remind you of something? Well, Every, yes, the, my 400th uh, show of La Cage Fall. No, really. <laughs> I was talking about what the race for what Barbara Davis does every year for her carousel, oh, you mean carousel ball. ball. Yes, yeah, doesn't yes. it look just like it? That's an early invitation. Yeah, they, yeah. okay. That and five thousand dollars, you're getting a nice table. <laughs> so true. How much? How, how much, much did this cost? Um, this all about could cost you about twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Wow. Oh, and I have one more thing for you guys. What? I'm very thankful that I was able to be on the show, and I made you guys a little thing as a DIYer. <gasps> what? What? Our own cups! Oh my God! Look. There oh, it is. Cute. I love. Where are we going? This way. That's right. Sawdust is man glitter. 